I said, skirt, skirt, all niggas, skirt up, all niggas, skirt down, you acting like me, acting like we was in more than. I said, skirt up, all niggas, skirt down, you acting like me, acting like we was in more Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Y'all. This will be my first time covering one of these uh, scratch them out, drag them out fights in the mommy sector here on YouTube. And um, I don't know. I think it's, I almost feel like these type of things are scripted. I mean, and I, the reason I say that is because it's, Almost every two to three months, there's somebody that says something that somehow another mom that they don't like finds out about, and there goes the drama. Now, the situation that even caused the conversation was some uh, reactor here on YouTube did a video about Chrissy's uh, daughter. They did a video really about Chrissy, but they brought up her children. They went all the way back to last year, bringing up pictures uh, of the young lady's house at the time, showing uh, mattresses that were old and dusty and this, that, and the third. And so with that being the case, um, you know, basically they were trying to say that while she was living her best life in front of the camera that her house was in shambles behind the camera. So with them bringing this up, uh, they also went so far as to find her daughter's social media account and bring in information about the daughter's social media account. She brought in a TikTok challenge that the little girl was doing, and she alluded to the fact that it was uh, vulgar and inappropriate and then called her apparently a hoe. Now, I personally did not see where she called the baby out of her name, but I did see uh, the young lady's video uh, to where, you know, she talked about her. She talked about Chrissy. Uh, she was showing chronologically like, okay, Chrissy put this video up, but behind the sign, behind uh, the scene, this is what her kid's life was like. And she was basically doing that, obviously, to question her parenting skills. Okay, get it. I want to say, first of all, I don't understand why they feel, and I, when I say they, I'm speaking general, why anyone would feel the need to talk about this young lady's children. I don't care what the girl put on, on, on YouTube or on, uh, it wasn't YouTube, it was actually TikTok. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter because number one, the little girl is not a content creator. The, the little girl does not have a channel. Uh, and it's not our job, even as commentators, to uh, talk about the little girl. It just, it's just not, I don't see where it's in the realm of our conversation. But I am just me. I'm not everybody. So I really cannot say for certain why another person felt the need to do that or you know, how it's okay with them. But nonetheless, it happened and it is what it is. So that's number one. Number two, um, so Chrissy decides to come back and say what she has to say about the situation. Uh, she basically was talking about the fact that, you know, her kids do have beds. She showed their beds. They do have a place to stay. She showed where they're living it really didn't address what the girl was saying, but nonetheless, you know, for those who may have had some concern, at least she addressed it. I mean, I, I, I guess, you know, and it helps you know that even if she was living this way at this time, at least she's not doing that now. So I, I would hope that that was enough for those folks who may have had concern. Well, where does Liv come in, you ask? 
So in the midst of Chrissy's conversation, she did mention Jasmine and Olivia in passing. She was basically stating uh, as she aggressively spoke to the young lady who spoke about her child that, hey, look, I'm going to send you uh, a 1099 form because you talk about me so much. I pretty much built your channel, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that, right? And she said, yeah, you might talk about jazz and live sometime, but um, your best videos are about me. And every time I turn around, you're talking about me. So in a nutshell, that was the gist of her bringing any, anybody else up. But I guess it was enough for someone to go and um, say something about Olivia. Uh, or say something to Olivia, which somehow she found out. And so then she puts up a video uh, called um, Shut Your A Up. And she also did a video uh, talking about, um, she called her nine times seven, but talking about Chrissy. She was very careful not to say her name, but that's what she was calling her nine times seven. And, you know, speaking on her uh, in this short little video and then um, said, well, I got to go. Basically, she alluded to the fact that it was date night and she had company. Um, all I can say about that is that's a whole different video. I mean, this woman is grown. She's allowed to date, I guess. So I guess that was what it was. But the fact is, uh, she made mention of Chrissy feeling as though Chrissy was talking about her, which really she wasn't. She was really talking to the girl just saying, hey, these two young ladies don't get you as much visibility on your, um, on your videos as I do. So I know that, you know, I, you made so much money off of me that you need to pay me. That's kind of where she was going with the whole thing. But honey, Lil just looked, saw an opportunity for her to interject her stuff there and say what she had to say, and she did just that. I really think all of this is, I guess, petty BS because she didn't even say enough about Olivia for Olivia to even be mad, in my opinion. And vice versa. You know, Olivia really don't have enough that she can say about her that she could really be mad. I mean, when you think about it. Also, I still stand on what I said before. I don't understand. It's it's enough to say about every last one of these ladies that I feel like if you just wanted to consistently put out a video every day about them, you could definitely find something to talk about that was engaging enough that your audience would care uh, to hear your point of view. So the children should not have to be a part of it. Now, I guess the point that the young lady, uh, Marissa, was making was that, um, I guess that, you know, y'all sometimes be worried about the wrong thing. Y'all worried about relationships. Y'all worried about this. Y'all worried about that when you should be worried about the children. Honestly, that's not completely unfair to say. I mean, and honestly, I'm sure every mother has had a moment to where her focus was off. So I can't sit here and in all good conscience say that she was completely without basis in saying that. If what was being posted on her video was true, then, you know, it is kind of off-putting. Uh, the kids put up a video of a mattress somewhere on some platform that um, the mattress looked it old and dirty. It did. It's unfortunate that that happened. It's unfortunate that the situation happened like that because Chrissy is very careful about what she posts on her YouTube for that very reason. Um, now, so then I guess the girl was saying, okay, although you don't post it, does not mean you're not living it. And that can be a fair assessment. Um, but with that being said, you know, the rebuttal of Chrissy was, look, all my kids have beds. Let me show you that they have beds just to kind of kill the noise. But 
you did not have to come for my children. And that also is a fair assessment. I don't think that we should ever have to talk about a person's child. I mean, we just don't. And that's just my opinion. Um, that's how I feel about it. And that is what it is. But back to these two, though. I don't think Liv had enough to say that it was even warranted that she made a comment. Nor do I think that, I mean, honestly, to be honest and to be fair, Chrissy didn't necessarily have to say their name either. But she did. And she said what she said, and it is what it is. So I just think that, I hope that the conversations that have been had is the end of it and go on about, you know, that. Now, another person that Liv mentioned was a, it was a content creator uh, that is actually a reaction or commentary based, based channel. She put a picture up on uh, Instagram of the young lady. Now, me personally, I've never seen her before. I don't know who she is, but Liv called her some name. And then she talked about another content creator named Wesleyan or something to this nature. Now, if I understand what I saw earlier today, I do know who the one uh, that she was talking about there. And quite frankly, I think that was stupid. <laughs> because to be honest with you, the young lady who's supposed to be Wesleyan, which is, uh, I think her channel is um, Outside Sis TV. She, Olivia don't want none of her. Olivia do not, because I heard five minutes of a video that she did, and she was dragging her for feels. Like, it ain't even that deep. Not to mention, you guys are like apples to oranges. Your life is not like hers. You do not have the situation that she has. Like, the fact that you are angry that people talk about you and you make your life public you rely on earning money putting your life out here so you cannot control what people think what people see what people say or what they feel about you and that goes for every all, all of these young ladies it's so off-putting that you guys waste time on your channels to complain about other people's content about you instead of just making sure that you're living the best life that you can for you and for your children. Therefore, you won't have a need to worry about what the hell people saying. Because if you putting out 100% content and you living your best life every second of the day, then what the hell they say don't matter. And it can't be that bad. So if you're putting something out here that these young ladies feel the need to talk about that's off-putting, that's, you know, maybe not showing you in a good light, maybe listen to them and, you know, self-regulate or check yourself on that. That's the only thing that I can see. Because otherwise, y'all going to forever be frustrated and angry. Because, honey, they talked about Jesus. So what makes you think that they won't talk about you? And that's really just the gist of it. These two young ladies need to go on and focus on their life. Liv need to focus on her and her children. Uh, Chrissy, uh, I, me personally, I feel like Chrissy needs to get back to work because she, I don't know what she does in the background. Obviously, she has a way of making money, but the, these young ladies both have a pretty decent size um, following. So they should easily be able to make five to $10,000 a month. And that's enough to, to take care of whatever size families you have. And I think that's what they should be focused on instead of focused on what the hell people saying and what the heck is going on. Because as long as you put yourself out there or have ever put yourself out there, that content is there and it's not going nowhere. It's just not. So I hope that you guys, you know, get a life and just, you know, kind of reassess yourselves, reassess your channels, feel figure out how to represent yourselves the best way that you can possible and go from there. I hope that you guys can do that because that's really the only thing that's going to change the dynamics of your channels is you and what you do. Same with Jasmine. You know, she's not really involved in this, but her name was mentioned as well. But the best thing y'all can do for yourselves is put out the best content as possible, but also be living your, the best life that's possible. Because if you got dirt in your background, somebody going to find it. It just is what it is. Talking about each other is not going to change it. Talking about each other's kids is not going to help it. 
Apparently, both of you guys have talked about each other in a negative aspect, in a low blow aspect and all of that. And as long as that content is out there, others will feel the need and right to do the same. So my advice to both of y'all would be to focus on yourselves, y'all business and y'all families and let that be that. And that's really the end of this conversation for me. Uh, the, you know, the whole thing, the whole fiesta of lives and all of this, um, you know, was basically a uh, birth from the fact of, a, I guess, a reactor saying something that Chrissy felt the type of way about. So she was angry about. But the fact is, by the by you being a social media content creator and by you being a person that has been public so long, I mean, that's going to open up your children to scrutiny. So either you need to prepare them accordingly, have a certain uh, way that you check what they post so that it won't, you know, be negative things getting out there. Or maybe you should wait till they're a little older before you allow them to have a channel, which is kind of unfair to them because they didn't ask their mom to be a content creator. But I spoke on that once before kids that come from these type of families, it, it's rough for them. It really is. They're going to have a different type of adjustment. Their life is going to be public, similar to a celebrity, um, but not on the same level because it ain't the same money involved. So, But unfortunately, uh, that's just the downside of being from this type of family. Anyway, guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that these two young ladies can figure it out, can uh, clean themselves up as far as maybe the content that they put out. And therefore, um, what is portrayed about them maybe can improve. I mean, because they definitely can't change what has already happened. So that's what I have to say for today. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time to check this video out. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you are not subscribed, please do so. i see you in the next video. Bye for now. I said, skirt, skirt, all niggas. Skirt up, all niggas. Skirt down, you acting like me. Acting like we was more than.